on the last episode of Pretty and Paid. What's pop, lock, and dropping, honeys? In my last episode, I let y'all know that I dropped out of school. For those that don't know me, try not to get your panties in a bunch. I'm actually already certified in massage therapy and decided it'd be a waste of my time to go back and get certified in something I'm already certified in when I could be focusing that energy on getting a storefront. I took y'all to the nail salon with me in the hood where it's good. I also went to Sprouts. If you want to know what's coming up next, let's get into this new episode. Yeah. This pussy got power. Stay in it for hours. Yeah, I get what I want. He don't tell me no. These bitches, they hate me. These niggas, they love me. When I wake up, I love the vibe in my room. The whole ambiance is so divine with the leaves, the plants, and the aroma. I always check my phone to see who's contacting me because you know your girl be making business deals and just to see if my baby done texted me. I do a little stretch. Try not to stretch too hard because you might pull a Charlie horse. And then I fix my bed. Camila, get down. I do not let my dog sleep with me after their one day after their bath, mainly because it's just really nasty. They run outside, get dirty, etc. Of course, I make my bed, and then I need to clean up my nightstand because I have the munchies late at night, and I have a sweet tooth, so I'm either eating ice cream or chugging a whole bottle of juice, girl, and I always watch TV, so I gotta put my remotes up, maybe took an eyelash off, my wipes, and then I put my phone on the charger and try to stay away from my phone after I'm up. Then I get my dogs ready for the day, put Cairo's toys up. I only feed my dogs high protein, good, expensive food, girl. Then I gotta clean up my counters because I am a herb smoker and so I probably have some residue left behind that I need to get off. And I'm really big on doing my chores in the morning, getting the dishes and the dishwasher. The overall vibe in your home is just so much better when you have a clean space. Then I hydrate myself. The metal straw cup has my coffee in it and of course I'm pouring my choice of water into my water bottle. Hey honeys, how are y'all doing? I haven't talked to y'all day to day, so I wanted to check in. It is Tuesday, 420. Oh, 420. Girl, hold up, hold up. <laughs> it's not April 20th, it's the time is 420, girl. Big smokers over here. The fuck they was pointing at me for? Hold up, they was just pointing at me, I think, or they were pointing through me. Mm -mm. I, ain't, I don't know who you, I'm not, don't know you. Get away from my door. Oh, I should just knocked on my window anyway. To go back and get my damn gun. Oh, I should just knocked on my window like I was finna bro the window down, bitch. I don't know you. What the fuck? Get away from my motherfucking window. Open my door. I'll unlock my door for you. And I'll let you open the door if you're crazy. I'm finna get blown back. If you're new to my channel, hola, como estas? This is a safe place, but it could also not be a safe place. It just depends on your attitude. Charles, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to comment down below, because if you don't speak, you won't be spoken to. And I love the way I look right now. I look like Selena, with my hair like this, and the hat. Hmm, don't play with me, chica, don't play with me. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on Like that one fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we Accident. It's okay, baby. No big deal. 
So let me play mommy real quick and I'll be right back. I have been hearing a lot of noise about these native products. I already have native shampoo and conditioner. I wanted to try their body wash. They had another one which was gummy bear. It smelled really good. Girl, I love me some of this one. This one's sour berry mix. My man gonna be all over me tonight. <laughs> this is my favorite lotion. I love this Nivea lotion specifically. I got some Loom Whole Body Deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. That mean booty hole, I think. You know I have to get me some toner because I have face wash, I have scrub, but I don't got no toner and Dixon's is really good toner. It's all natural, it's witch hazel, you know, girl. Then I got some Jergens Melanin Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. I got Gillette Venus Rifle Pal Paper Company Shade Cream Honey Flower with Shea Butter made with 0% dyes, parabens, and SOS sulfates. <laughs> I know that's right. Give me some body scrub. I got the Dr. Teal's ones because it's glow and radiance. And you know, the oranges was just giving me springtime. Then I got me some little spring scents that I felt were a little bit, you know, for my Stila. I wanted to get a body mist and I really like this body mist. It smells really good. I got me two parfums. I got Dream Moon. I'm a musk. Musk, honestly, is not a spring scent. It's more of a winter scent. But this one is giving different. Like, I really like the way it smells. I'm not musty, but I feel sweaty. And you know, it's really hot outside. Sun's out, buns out, sweating, going down my butt crack. And I want to wash it off. So I need to get in the shower and I'm going to use all the stuff that I just got. are beginning to be aware of the negative effects tap water has on their skin and hair. If you want your skin and hair to look its best, try this water filter. It removes 99.9% .9 of residual chlorine in tap water, turning it into pure, clean water. I purchased this corner shower caddy from Amazon to give my shower a clean, organized vibe. It's a five-piece set, and it holds way more than what you need. I'm going to start off in the shower by cleansing my face. Most of the environmental impurities and cosmetic products our skin comes in contact with are not water soluble. So washing the skin with water isn't enough to remove them. Skin cleansers remove dirt, sebum, oil, and dead skin cells, ideally without damaging or irritating the skin. Remember, it's important to cleanse your skin every night, but also in the morning to remove any toxins your skin doesn't eliminate during the night. Next, I'm going to cleanse and moisturize my hair with native shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo and conditioner are made for all hair types. Native's hair care products also might be a good fit for you if you have hard water at your home. They contain several different kinds of salts which can counteract the effects that hard water may have on your hair. They have only 10 ingredients in their products. It is free of sulfates, parabens, silicone, and dye. They are vegan and cruelty free. It is the same for their body wash. While the bath products we choose are theoretically designed to clean our bodies, that doesn't necessarily mean the products themselves are clean. New research found that common toilet trees may affect your hormones. They found that people who avoided products with parabens and fragrances were twice as likely to be in the group with the lowest chemicals in the body. Next, I'm going to use my derma roller. It's a device that causes injury points to the surface of the skin to increase circulation. It's been around for several decades as a way to stimulate the skin. It's generally a painless process. The goal is to reach the dermal layer of your skin to encourage wound healing. 
wound healing causes hair regrowth. As we get older, we lose collagen and elastin. Derma rolling helps to stimulate collagen and elastin production. Collagen in particular is especially crucial for hair regrowth because it provides the amino acids that build hair. Next, I'm going to shave while using my Venus Shave Cream. Shave Cream creates a thin layer of protection between the blade and the skin, ensuring less friction and minimizing the risk of redness, razor burn, irritation, and cuts. Next, I'm going to exfoliate with Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt is pure, healthy, and filled with natural goodness that is beneficial for the human body. It is mined from the foothills of the Himalaya mountains, mainly from Pakistan. Himalayan salt has a similar chemical composition as regular salt, except for it has trace minerals that help strengthen the skin's health. Our skin sheds hundreds of dead skin cells every day. The outermost layer of our skin is mainly made up of dead skin. The dead skin cells make your skin dry and it subsequently looks worn out. It promotes skin brightening, fades the appearance of acne scars, helps in removing excess oils and dirt, and offers a rejuvenated and smoother surface to your skin. Next, I'm going to clean my feet by scrubbing them with this eco-friendly body brush that I got from Target. I personally feel like a rag is not enough to clean your feet. No one wants to smell the odor from their feet when they take off their shoes, so make sure to scrub really good. I also keep a foot scraper in my shower to use at the end because my feet have soaked in the water long enough that the dead skin will easily come off. Lastly, I'm going to pat dry. Don't rub dry, especially if you have sensitive skin. The tugging of a towel can cause irritation, plus years of tugging at your skin can lose its elasticity. Oof, that was a good shower. I feel a whole lot better. I'm gonna drink some water. Girl, my mouth is dry. <laughs> First thing I do when I get out of my shower is tone my face. I just got done scrubbing it and you know cleansing. So I need to close my pores back up. I'm gonna go on with my Dixon Witch Hazel. I really like this toner and it's 100% natural distilled witch hazel. If you don't know, witch hazel is really, really good for your skin. I started using witch hazel like maybe three years ago. I didn't even know well, no, not three years ago, girl. Well, how long have I had my skincare line? I've been using witch hazel for like four years now, going on four years. It does the job. You'll immediately notice a difference in your skin if you stick with it. It's gonna close up your pores and then bring it down to your neck and it's also gonna remove the excess dirt that is on your skin. Next, I'm going to moisturize my face. I personally like to use Nivea. This is one of my favorite lotions. I love this lotion because I really don't like to use body oil. If I do use body oil, I only use it on my feet. And the main reason is it's just too oily for me. And I don't like to get it on my clothes. And it's just streaks and all that stuff. So I really just like to use this kind of Nivea. Once you put it on, it immediately looks like you got oil on your body. Because it's such, it's such a deep... Um, moisturizer and it's with deep nourishing serum and almond oil so that's why girl you really don't even need a body oil after you use this i feel like it's really important to do your after you get out the shower to immediately jump into your next hygiene routine because if you're moving around the house you might get a little musty and then you're right back musty girl so before you know you start sweating and stuff just go ahead and you know moisturize deodorant all this that i'm showing you that way your body doesn't start to collect any type of odors next i'm going to use my favorite hair oil which is carol's daughter i really really like this oil i'm really glad i found this oil this has helped my hair and my curls so much and i like to put it in when my hair is wet because you immediately notice a difference when your hair dries that yeah girl carol's daughter's oil is in my hair
If you're not familiar with this brush here, I definitely recommend you getting one. I'm going to use this brush to comb the oil through my hair. This brush is really good for detangling and it helps your hair not break as much. You want to always start from the bottom of your hair when you're brushing it and move to the top. Voila. <laughs> I'm gonna flick it out a little bit. Hmm. Don't play with me. Hmm. Next, I'm going to moisturize my body. Bam! Don't play with me. Sorry, excuse me. Sometimes I be overreacting. Girl, my body is dry, 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 dry. Like your grandmama coochie. <laughs> I know that's right. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk about your grandmama. I don't know your grandma, I was just playing. Don't take it personal, don't take it personal. Moisturize everything. Moisturize them titas. Moisturize that belly. Moisturize that booty. I don't wanna see no dry booty cheeks this summer. I don't wanna see no pimple booty cheeks this summer. I want y'all to exfoliate them booty cheeks, cleanse them booty cheeks, moisturize them booty cheeks. And girl, you gonna, your booty cheeks gonna be looking good in that bathing suit. Let me get these legs. See, like once you put it on your legs, it just looks like you already have oil on. Like you don't need to do too much. And I just love the way Nivea smells. It smells so good. And then put it on your feet. It's my favorite foot moisturizer also. Ooh, put it between them toes. Girl, I'm not gonna lie. I ran out of my favorite deodorant, which is the dove spray i love the dove sprays personally but i only have the dove bar right now so i'm just going to go ahead and use it and i ordered my favorite deodorants from amazon so they should be here soon i go i, I do a lot <laughs> i go i go all the way up here i go down here in a little circle beat that hole beat that hole beat that hole i'm joking don't do that that kind of hurt <laughs> don't do that <laughs> We're gonna use our private part deodorant. Hmm. You wanna go to Target, get you some of this. Loom whole body deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond, meaning booty. Okay, so I'm gonna put this within my thigh creases because that is where the odor starts. A lot of people don't know that down there is kind of like an armpit. It's closed. So you want to go in with a little deodorant on the sides because of course, sometimes, you know, when you pull your pants down, you're like, whoa, what's that smell? I've been around friends that I've went to the restroom with them and they pull it down and I'm like, damn, what's going on? If you're my friends, I'm going to let you know, girl, it's a little mustard dusty crusty down there. And I'm going to give you my tips. It's up to you to use them. Trust me, I've given friends my tips and they still be smelling musty dusty crusty. I'm going to get a little bit more and swipe it down my booty. I don't know about y'all, but I would love for my booty to smell like a rose. <laughs> Put your tongue in it. But I'm just saying, you know, I mean, who don't want their booty to smell like a peony rose? I don't even know what that is, but it smells good. Next, I'm gonna brush my teeth. First, I'm gonna start with my water pick. I got this water pick off Amazon. I love it. It's cute, it's pink, it works. You gotta fill it up with water. Girl. I recommend doing this over the sink because I like to spray it between my teeth and then also spit it out as I'm doing it because you'll start seeing, you know, if you ate something or whatever, you'll just see it coming out of your mouth. Next, I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to use my electric toothbrush and need some Sensodyne. This is my favorite toothpaste. This really works. I had like a little bit of sensitivity in one of my bottom teeth because there's a little bit of space right there and food always gets stuck there, girl. So I thought maybe I had a cavity. But once I started using this, the sensitivity went away. I love this toothpaste. And then also you want to look on the back of your toothpaste and make sure it's not red. If it's red, it means there's a lot of chemicals in that toothpaste. Mm 
Then I'm gonna wash my mouth out with some peroxide. I love washing my mouth out with peroxide. A lot of people don't read the bottle. It says first aid, antiseptic, and oral debriding agent. So yes, you could put this in your mouth and you don't have to dilute it, just don't swallow it. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with my body spray that I got from Tarjay, Tarjeezy, my Neezy, <laughs> okay. Girl, it's called Magnetic Candy and it says what it means. This is the magnet and I'm the candy. I know that's right, mm -hmm. magnet to the candy. And it's a body mist. So, you know, just go around the world, girl. Just have, just go crazy with it, go crazy with it. I like that, it smells real sweet. Like me or like y'all. Mm -hmm. That's the end of my shower routine. I hope y'all liked it. I hope I gave y'all some tips on how to scrub a dub dub your body down. So until next time, I'll see y'all soon. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.